All right, so I'm going to start up NetBeans. And in this tutorial, I'll just be teaching you how to do some programming basics. So we're going to come up here and click on this button. This means new project. Or uh, we can press Control Shift N. I just learned that. And we'll just create a new Java application. So click on Java and click on Java application and press next. You're gonna have a couple of things. You're gonna have a project name. We're gonna I'm gonna name it Programming Tutorial. Sorry. basics and I'm gonna bra uh, I'm fine with the project location you guys if you want you can change this up and you can leave this as it is right now so I'm gonna press finish and it should create it should automatically create a thing for me so here I'm gonna do I'm going to start teaching now. Alright, so this is our package. This is where everything is stored, sort of. This is like our domain. This is our class. This is the name of our class, and this is our main method. First, we're going to learn about some variables. So there's a couple types of variables that are normally generally used so there's the int variable and int can be something that's an integer so something like something like 18 or 99 or some number so we're gonna I'm just gonna make this int age so we have a variable type we have a variable type and we have a variable name so our variable name is age and now we have to assign this variable something so we're gonna assign it my age which is 18 and to finish off any statement in Java or most languages you gotta write a semicolon and as you can see there was this error here which is now gone so I have int age equals 18 there's also another one string String means anything that has to do with, uh, I, I would say a string, but that does not make any sense. So something that's like a word or a sentence or sometimes even a letter. But for a letter, there's another thing. So string, and I'm just going to give it something like my name. And I'll assign the variable name. So I'll name it Z. Uh, the third thing is double and double has to do with things that have decimals or yeah anything that has point blah 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 if you're dividing something if you're dividing 5 by 2 it int would return actually we'll see that alright double let's say let's tell it the amount of money I own. So money equals eighteen dollars. Okay. And we'll do another stuff. So we'll say that there's also another one which is called Boolean. And this is any time let's say you're playing a game. Normally there's this variable that's called is game over so it's like game over and that's if you're doing good that's usually set to false but when you die or when something or when you, your game is actually over the game the program sets the game to true game over to true so that it can display the game over screen there's also other things like a char. A char stands for character and normally the pro the letter programmer used for char is L. 
so l equals and like the string variable right we have to give it some quotes to for the thing to understand it so we use single quotes for char and we can give it a cool letter like z now okay so I have these variables now what can I do with them one cool thing is you can well cool is that you can print them out or none no it's not gonna waste your it's sorry it's not gonna waste your printer paper or print thing it print just means it's gonna display it on the screen so we can print some other sentence so I can say hello world my name is now let's say I'm getting input from a user right so I have this name variable and I guess I can use that so my name is name wow what a sentence And I am, and I'll add. So in Java, I'm pointing at my screen while I'm doing this. This is my first time, sorry. Uh, so in most languages, to put different strings or different things together, you gotta use a plus sign. So plus, and I am age. years old so now if I run this hopefully I did not make any mistakes and yeah I'm gonna change this to print line that way it's easier to read okay so here you can see my output and that says hello world my name is Zed and I am 18 years old so I think we need a space here so I I made this mistake on I made this mistake on purpose so I could show you. So I need the space here. And now I can run it and it should display it all properly. Okay? So now let's say I want what do I want? I want to show you guys how to how games work or how simple some stuff works. So I have this game over variable okay I'm gonna make a line so it's gonna do this every single time I'm gonna yeah okay sorry I was just thinking so we're gonna create a while loop while game over okay I don't really wanna write while game over equals false oh see I can't even write that properly and by the way after a while loop after any type of loop you need this you need a you need curly brackets so I could do that and I could go write something some code here okay but no, I, I really don't like wasting my typing. It's a precious thing. So I can use the not while not game over. So while game over equals false. That's equivalent. And I'm just going to import something. Cortana. And I'm just going to import something. And that's called import javax dot swing dot j option pane this is how I was taught there might be other ways people are doing this but this is how I was taught so I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take age okay so if a person's age is above 60 what I'm gonna do is their their game's over. I'm sorry, this is this is turning really bad. How about I change age to nah, whatever. Okay? 
Okay, a hundred, fine. A hundred. All people don't like playing games. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna do... First, I'm gonna write an if statement. If statement goes like this. If age equal... Equal... Uh, if age is greater than... A thousand. Okay, that's a game over right there. Greater than or equal to a thousand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it as game over equals true. All right. So if I run this, I'll just take this out just so you guys can see. And let me print out system dot out dot print line. The game is not over. Okay. And let's see what happens. This is either going to be, this is either going to go really bad or it's actually going to work out. But that's so. Uh, okay. Ready? And the game is not over. And as you can see, this is keep on. This just keeps on going. So let's stop this program. Hey, listen. Age is always 18, right? We're not changing age. So let's actually do something that age can be changed. So every single time we want the person to reassign age. So age is. J option pane, we just imported that. J option pane dot show show input dialog. And we're gonna just say enter your age let's see oh okay as you can see this says string cannot be converted into int that's another cool thing so we have this other thing that we can write it's integer dot parse int and if you, I, I don't know if you read that, but let me just rewrite that so you guys can. Integer dot parse int. So this is a method. This is a method in the integer class. So our class is called program program tutorial basics, and right now our method is main. So if someone was to write uh, int or programming tutorial basics dot main, it would correspond to this class and we could put some string arguments in here and that would work so here we can see that it asks for a string and it returns an int so we need that okay so parse int and then we're just going to delete this because we already have our string set up here sorry and we're just going to run this. So what happens now? Ooh, it tells me enter your age. Okay, my age is 18. And it says the game is not over. Okay, my age is 500. The game is still not over. My age is 32. The game is still not over. How about my name? My age is 1000. The game is... It prints out the game is not over, but it's still does that so how about we do this we actually make an else statement so if age is greater than or equal to 100 game over is true else you're gonna we're gonna print this all right and we're gonna just run this and enter your age 50 Enter your age one two thousand. 
okay and it does not print anything if we want we could do something like something not funny but some dark humor stuff we could write the game is over this turned into a really sad thing but now if we write a number that's greater than a thousand that's what it's gonna give us so just like that we can do some pretty cool stuff uh... i think that is all so this tutorial we learned about different types of variables we learned about a while loop an if statement an else statement there's also an else oh, else if statement and we can do else if a wait okay age is greater than 500 right your game oh your oh. or less than 500 the game is nearly over we could print something like that out and we can try something like 250 the game is nearly over or but now if you can see that age is always going to be sorry I had to cancel that whatever now you can see that age is like less than 500 so this statement does not ever get repeated so we could do age is less than 500 but it's still out uh, so there's also this and and is age is greater than 250 right and we can run that and now if we write something like 200 it says the game's not over but if we write 300 it says the game is nearly over if you write 5000 or 6000 it says the game is over and that's some basics you can also do there's also a for loop and while while loops normally tend to work with booleans for loops are a lot more if you want to repeat something over and over and again for some rand for some amount of time. We're going to learn about for loops in the next video because this one's getting way too long. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.